Now we're going to go through how to unlock and start playing a sandbox in Taito Online. So I'm on the teacher tool right now looking at the content and I'm going to actually go unlock the sandbox here for ecology. So if I scroll down here I can get to the unlock sandbox here and I can go ahead and put the name in of who I want to unlock it for. And you can see there's a lot that the sandbox covers. It's pretty in depth and I can go ahead and unlock it and it's ready to go. Right now, keep in mind, unlocking a sandbox cannot be undone. And we also have uh, some information here. In this case, unlocking the sandbox is going to assign a quest called the Hilo to your students. So it's a quick intro quest that will get them started. So I'm actually just going to jump right over to a character that I had up. And you can see um, it just popped up from the character that is unlocking this. So Dr. Sandrine says, uh, you never cease to impress. And they hear you've been making a positive impression around Espeth. And she'd like to tell you about an experimental program. So come talk to her and she'll tell you more about it. So I'm going to say let's go and it's actually going to port me right over in front of Dr. Sandrine. And then on the right hand side of my quest log here it says to talk to her at the Taito Academy. Um, it's also blinking down here because it went ahead and gave me a new feature, the camera. I didn't have that unlocked before but it is something that goes along with the ecology sandbox because I need to use the camera to unlock some information about species I might want to use it. So let's go ahead and talk to Dr. Sandro. So she says, you're back, that's wonderful. And she has a program she wants to tell you about. So this is just a quick introduction, letting you know that they have a large scale program to let you experiment with learning about ecosystems. And so it's a holographic environment for life observation called the HILO, the holographic environment for life observation. And so it uses data from real um, plants and animals in order to have a biodome with artificial intelligence that mirrors real life. Basically we're saying in the game exactly what we actually did with the game. And so um, that sounds amazing. And so she's going to head and tell you how to use it and give you some research credits to get you started. And she's telling you a little bit about your biodex and things like that and how you can unlock species as well, which I will show you as well. So remember, you can place anything in there. And there's also a computer sitting on the table next to her that gives you some really fun challenges. So I'm going to go ahead and complete this, and this is unlocked it. So from now on, if I want to get into the Hilo, I just come to her, and there's options right here about how to do the Hilo. Uh, so yeah, that's pretty great. I do want to show you real fast the biodex that I mentioned. So I have some research points right now. I have 105 research points that I can use to unlock certain species and students will unlock whatever they want to start building and they this is really to give a scaffolding process for your students so they can't do everything at once and put on all of the apex predators in the very beginning and so i think i'm actually going to start an alaskan ton now nah, let's start a himalaya so i'm going to go ahead and unlock a few things for the himalaya so i've just bought the jungle fowl here so i have some basic information but a lot of this information is actually still locked unless i go out and actually use a DNA extractor on a baby of the species in one of the biodomes. So I will need to quest more actually and go out into these biodomes and explore to unlock more information. But I can still get started and kind of figure it out on my own if I'd like. So I'm going to unlock a few things that look like they'd be good to have in the biodome. Uh, don't forget plants. Plants are really important. So it looks like that, that starts you off. I already have a couple plants unlocked here like the joint fir. Let's get some bamboo and some poppies definitely want to have some of my favorite plants here since they're important to remember to remind your students to actually have plants as well. Sometimes the students obviously focus on the animals a little bit too much. So let's go ahead and get a pangolin too. And I think I'm about out of points. So I'm out of points, but I can earn more by doing more quests or by um, actually within the gameplay of the Hilo, I will do that. So let's go ahead and create a Himalaya since that's what we are doing and give it a name. It's an awesome dome, and then I'm going to create the biodome here, and then I'll go ahead and enter it. Um, you do see there are some settings on here, so I can set how much time will pass while I'm away. When you're first starting a biodome, they probably don't want it to, but later on when they're better, they can have, say, a year pass while they're away. So for example, when they leave on Monday afternoon and come back Tuesday, a year will have passed in their biodome, and so they can go see what's happened. Has everything died, or is it improving or not? So I'm going to set that at three months for right now and go ahead and enter the biodome. So that is how you get started on the biodome and unlock the create your own ecosystem functionality with the ecology sandbox, but I am not going to teach you how to play it right now. We will save that for another video. Thank you.